I'm Judy Grobstein, Manager of Education and Audiology at Starkey Australia, and I'm here today to talk to you about Starkey's new and exciting feature, Two-Way Audio. I'm very excited to talk about the latest feature updates to Starkey's Livio Edge AI, Livio AI, and Livio Wireless hearing aids. We're happy to introduce a new feature called Two-Way Audio. With the latest firmware on all devices in the Livio product family, as well as Apple's most recent update to iOS 15, users now have access to the two-way audio feature. Two-way audio allows the hearing aid microphones to pick up the user's voice during phone calls, giving them a true hands-free experience and allowing phone conversations to be more convenient and easier than ever before. All technology tiers and styles of Livio Edge AI, Livio AI, and Livio are compatible with the two-way audio feature. Any hearing aid that's already been fit in the field will require a firmware update via a new version of the Inspire fitting software, which will be available from 14th of December. New products with the updated firmware already installed will begin shipping early next year. Apple products that are compatible with two-way audio will require iOS 15.1 or newer, and these devices will include the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, and anything newer than the iPhone 11 family. Two-way audio is also compatible with the iPhone SE second generation, as well as the iPad uh, products listed on the screen here. The settings for two-way audio are accessed via the native controls in iOS. It's very important to note that two-way audio is not a Thrive app feature. The native controls can be easily accessed either through the triple click or from the control center. Of course, it's important that the hearing aids will have been previously paired and connected to the Apple device for two-way audio to work. Two-way audio is labeled input options within the control center. The hearing icon can be easily added into the control center menu by going into settings and then control center. Then simply hit the plus sign next to the hearing icon to include it in the control center options. Then when the control center is open, you'll see that the hearing icon will be available. Simply tap on the hearing icon, then tap on input options to get the two-way audio setting options. The user would ideally select the automatic option. There are actually four input options available in the hearing aid settings. The automatic option is the recommended setting, and this will allow the operating system to select the hearing aid with the strongest connection to the iPhone to be used for voice pickup during the call. The user does have the option to select either the right or left hearing aid, and if they select either of these, that particular device will always be used for voice pickup during the call. And an example of when a user might want to do this is if, say, for example, they always keep their phone in their left front pocket, they may want to select the left to guarantee that it's the ear closest to the phone to provide the strongest signal during the call. They can also, of course, select off, which will essentially turn off the two-way audio feature, and then the user would be required to speak into the iPhone or iPad microphone. Two-way audio can be used for all phone calls and can also be used with other apps such as FaceTime, Teams, and Zoom. When a call comes in, the user will need to answer the call from their iPhone or iPad. Then the two-way audio will stream based on what was selected as the input option from the control center. To allow for the best audio experience, the iPhone or iPad should be placed in front of the user or kept within three meters. If the user is placing their phone in their pocket, it should be in the front pocket with the display or screen side of the phone facing outward. This will guarantee that the radio antennas are transmitting away from the body and not being absorbed by the body, which could affect the signal during the phone calls. Now, the three meter distance is recommended for indoor use of two-way audio as when you're indoors, there are more surfaces for the Bluetooth signal to bounce off of, providing a stronger signal for the call. When a user is outside, there are fewer surfaces um, for that signal to bounce off of in those situations, and the Apple device may actually need to be closer to the user than that recommended three meters. 
Two-way audio does work best in quiet situations. Um, background noise at present might interfere with the quality of the signal being sent to the person on the other side of the call. If the audio signal is not as expected, the user will need to switch the audio source so that they are using the microphone on the iPhone or iPad during the call. It should be noted, importantly, that this cannot be done during a live call. So if a user is using two-way audio and the person on the other end of the call is struggling, they will need to end the call, hang up, and then go into the control center and select off as the input option, essentially turning off two-way audio um, so that they can uh, talk into the microphone of the iPhone or iPad. Also should be noted that if the stream volume is over 75%, um, the user or the caller on the other side may experience an echo. So for that reason, it's recommended to reduce the stream volume to 75% or lower. We're extremely excited about this brand new feature for Livio products, and we know your patients will be excited as well. We have a quick tip available to provide you with the needed information on the two-way audio feature. Thank you so much for watching. Should you require more information on this topic or any others, feel free to reach out to your product specialist or you can reach us on our toll-free number at 1-800-024-985.